Um, Joe has been a longtime friend of the show. Um, his wife passed on with cancer. He wrote a, a book about their experience together. Uh, there it is in sickness and in health. And Joe started a foundation where all the proceeds go to children who have a parent battling cancer, who lost a parent with cancer. And I said, Joe, let's do a weekly segment, inspiring stories uh, every week. And every week Joe has come up with uh, inspiring stories, but tonight's a first, his first live guest. So let's have a round of applause for Joe Satriano and inspiring stories. Well, thank you, Howie. Um, you know, I've been very, very fortunate that uh, in my travels since Sue passed away, I've met so many wonderful, wonderful people, so many inspiring stories. Um, I have been blessed uh, to meet a wonderful lady by the name of Kelly Lark, who is sitting in our audience. Um, she is presently battling and winning the battle of lymphoma, and uh, she always has a smile on her face. She always uh, is there for you. She supports everything that is good in life. And it doesn't surprise me that when I did my interviews at a particular high school last week, I met her daughter, who, you know the expression, the uh, apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Uh, well, uh, Caitlin Mark, one wonderful, wonderful girl, uh, young adult, I should say, who is not letting her mom's battles stop her, but instead moving forward and doing such incredible, incredible things with her life. So I wanted to introduce her and uh, give her a chance to tell you guys a little bit about what she's doing in school, not only keeping up her grades, but also moving on and doing incredible things, raising money and running events. So here's Caitlin Lark. All right, give it up for Caitlin. Hello. Um, so my name is Caitlin. Um, right now I'm a senior at Oceanside High School. Um, I currently am in Cancer Awareness Club in my school, and we are planning this new event called Othon. Um, it's a six-hour dance-a-thon. We're having it on April 17th. It's a Friday. We're going to have it on from 6 p.m. to 12 uh, a.m. Um, we're raising money for pediatric cancer. That's the main goal in this club. And um, so far, we've raised over $3,000 in just a couple weeks, and that's only for this event. Um, we've raised so much money for all these kids, and we're raising money for the Four Diamonds Foundation. Um, I mean, everything that people do to help children with cancer is truly amazing. Um, the other day, I actually, on St. Patrick's Day, I sold over 200 green flowers for lymphoma for my mom, and we've raised a lot of money. And I mean, I'm just, I don't, I don't. <laughs> right. Joe, these are the quality, amazing kids that you're meeting through your foundation. It truly is remarkable, and we have to keep remembering that these are young adults, they're not adults, but yet they grow up so quickly because of what they faced in their lives. And, you know, everyone has choices, as I mentioned in the interviews that I do with the kids, that, you know, um, an episode is what, uh, what you saw in your life could have stopped you dead cold. But, it, but you didn't. And what, instead what you're gonna do is you're gonna go on to a great school either? I'm not sure right now. I'm kind of in between Sacred Heart University and URI, University of Rhode Island. And I believe that you're also gonna do a give back profession, if I remember correctly. What, what would you like to do? Um, I was going into psychology, but I'm recently switching my major. I'm going into working with special needs students. Yeah, I mean, isn't that incredible? Yes. These, these are young adults who uh, want to give back in their own way, uh, doing incredible things with their lives, and not letting what they've seen stop them. So uh, the inspiring stories that I hear from, from, from Caitlin and the rest of them, uh, there are 19 kids, unfortunately, who are getting the award at Oceanside High School this year. I'm happy to be able to help them. Uh, I'm also happy to say that in, not, in nine years, I'm starting my 10th year, I've given out well over $400,000 to over 700 kids across the nation. And it's my pleasure, my heart goes out to kids just like Caitlin, but I am so, so impressed and, uh, and I, I'm, they bolster me and they should bolster everyone in this room to realize that there are kids who are doing wonderful things despite what they might have seen. So Caitlin, wonderful. It was a pleasure you. to meet you. Thank you, it was nice to meet you. And it's my idea that our next show, April 12th from Pancho's Cantina, 
Caitlin, I'd like to invite you and your friends on the show to promote your event, which will be like a week before your big event. What do you think? Bring your friends down to April 12th at Pancho's Canteen in Island Park, right next to Oceanside. Of course, I'll be there. All right, excellent. Let's give it up for Caitlin and Joe. All right, we're going to have one.